Hey everybody, uh, this is Mike Brunel, the associate wine buyer here at Table and & Vine and a champagne aficionado. I'm going to show you what I believe is the coolest way I know to open a bottle of champagne. Anybody can pop a cork, but not everybody can take a saber or a sword and lop the top off a bottle of champagne. So uh, hopefully I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, take your bottle, uh, you're going to want to clean off the top. You're going to want to take off all of the foil. So there's a little tab here, we're just going to undo the tab, take off the aluminum foil here, discard that. You're going to take the, the metal cage, a couple twists to undo that. You want to get all of this paraphernalia off there. Easier said than done. So the cage is off. You're also going to want to take this, this aluminum sleeve here off as well. Uh, that's just going to give you a clean line, a clean, a clean run up the bottle, if you will. Um, so you've got tops all set, nothing there to get in the way. Uh, every bottle of champagne is going to have a seam in it. You might not be able to see this on camera, but um, running right along the bottle here is, is a seam that's basically the weakest part of the bottle. And that's where you're going to want your, your blade to strike. Uh, you want the least resistance possible. So you've kind of got everything set. A um, couple things that I would consider. You might want to do this outside. Probably be a safety feature to do it off of a, off of a deck or you know, maybe in your, your backyard or something. Um, and you also, of course, don't want to aim it at anyone. You want to be clear of everybody for the show, have everybody behind you and kind of pick a spot off where, where you won't cause much damage because this puppy's going to go, all right? So we're ready to go. Uh, I would use eyewear, um, eye protection, just you know, safety first, uh, no sense looking for an accident. So you've got your bottle of champagne, you've got your seam lined up here, you've got your really big knife, uh, as Crocodile Dundee would call it, really big knife. Um, the other thing to consider is you might think you want to run the thin part or the sharp part of the blade up the bottle, but it's really easier, you'll get better contact if you go with the, with the back side, the fat part of the blade, it's going to give you more contact uh, with the bottle. Okay? Um, everybody's behind me. I'm out on my deck, and we're going to let this puppy go. When you do decide to do it, you've got everything lined up, and you're ready to go, I would say just commit to the act, be ready to go, and you just want to exert some force up the bottle and, and let the cork fly. Okay? Let's see how this goes. One, two, three. Oh, ho, ho, not so great the first time. Ready? We're going to try it one more time. One, two, three. Woo! That's pretty cool. We barely spilled a, a bit at all. A little bit of foam came off the top. Um, and this is the really cool part is because it blew off so clean, you can now drink this champagne. There's, there's no glass sediment or anything in there to worry about. You've got an open bottle. Enjoy, cheers, have fun, and be safe. Cool.